Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube. I'm your host, Roxy, and I'm wearing the Advanced French by Raquel Welch. She is my ultimate favorite pixie cut wig. You guys determine. Take a look, like it is absolutely perfect. I love this little fringe here. Let me kind of take it out just so you guys can see what it looks like without it tucked behind my ears. So I did do a little bit of styling to this, some water, that's all I used. I didn't use anything else, but take a look at all the fringe that you have, the long layers on the top. So you could even kind of make it really fun too. I actually like it behind the ears because it gives this more of like a face framing look, but you can kind of spike it. Like that's really cute. I actually really like that. Very nape hugging, so it fits absolutely perfect. I am a petite, but this is an average cap. So I just tightened the straps. I'll show you right here. So I love this cap too, because it's really, really breathable. So can you guys see that? This is the temple to temple lace front. So take a look on me. Absolutely seamless. And then it's open wefted on the top of the crown and the sides and backs. So you're getting extra breathability right here. So especially right now it's summer. I know we're coming into you know, the fall. I still wear this because it does have a little bit more hair than let's say an Ellen Villa. Like Ellen Villa has a light density where this one I would say is a medium dense. So you still have all that hair, but it's absolutely so comfortable, you guys. And you can tighten it up to a half inch or loosen it. It also has those um, silicone coated stretch that molds to the shape of the head, which I love, especially being a petite size. It just kind of forms to me and it fits really, really nicely. Like I wouldn't lie to you guys because a lot of wigs that are average, I sometimes I can't wear them even if I tighten them as much as I can, but this one, it just forms to me. It feels really good, really snug. I know it's not going anywhere. So who wants to see these colors? I'm wearing the RL829, which is my favorite color, especially on my skin tone. It's a hazelnut. You have the medium brown with ginger highlights. Take a look at the front and the back. So gorgeous. You guys, I'm obsessed. And then I'll be trying on the RL1222. I'm gonna show it to you right out of the box, and I'll also be showing you the RL1923, which is the biscuit. It's a gorgeous blonde for summer. Um, but this is that kind of ashier tone, which I normally tend to lean towards, but for some reason, as I'm getting older, I'm just really embracing my natural color these days, which is more of the auburn and the dark brown. So really blends in nicely with my eyebrows and my eyes. But this is the RL 1222 SS. You have that shaded cappuccino. It's a light golden brown and you, it's evenly blended with cool platinum blonde highlights. And then you get those beautiful dark brown roots. So I'll try that on after I show you the last color. Now you guys have made this color very, very popular. I prefer the dark rooted one, which is a um, the same color, but just a little bit dark, darker roots. But this is the RL 1923. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous blonde, you guys. It's um, light ash blonde with cool platinum highlights. And then the RL 1923 SS will definitely have those darker brown roots. For my skin tone, I prefer that, but I've actually worn this as well and have gotten tons of compliments just because it's that perfect blonde. It's perfect, you guys. So are y'all ready to see this? I'm gonna go ahead and do some fashion for you in all three colors. Okay guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Bye.